There are many countries in the world that live under constant threat of air attacks. Two such nations, India and Armenia. Now, Armenia has long been an ally of Russia, so naturally you'd expect them to buy their weapons from Moscow. And for years they did. But then something very unexpected happened. When Armenia needed a new air defense system, they didn't go to Russia, they went to India. Yes, you heard that right. This is wild because Russia is known for building some of the most powerful air defense systems in the world. Some say they even outperformed the US in this area. And yet they lost an arms deal to India. How is that possible? But wait, it gets crazier. Eight countries are now lining up to buy this same Indian air defense system. And it's not the US selling it, not Russia, India. We're talking about countries like the UAE, Vietnam, Egypt, Indonesia, the Philippines, Kenya, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Algeria. Why? Because they clearly fell for the propaganda we've been so maliciously spreading on this channel. Caspian Insight, turning propaganda into export deals since day one. We've got countries buying, trolls crying, and Caspian flying. If this is propaganda, I need a raise. Modi, check your inbox. I'll take my share in USD, thanks. All right, now that I've roasted the trolls in the comments, let's get serious. Why are all these countries, who probably didn't even know India made missile defense systems a year ago, suddenly desperate to get their hands on it? What is this system? What can it do that others can't? And how did India go from underdog to air defense kingmaker? Let's find out together. To understand why so many countries are suddenly rushing to buy Indian air defense systems, we need to look at another nation with one of the most advanced air defense networks in the world, Israel. Israel's airspace is among the most heavily protected on Earth. With a relatively small territory to defend, it has built a layered system made up of Arrow missiles with a range of 3,000 km, David Sling with a 300 km range, Iron Dome with a 50 km range. It sounds unbeatable until you look closer. In Iran's recent massive missile and drone strike on Israel, something caught the world's attention. Iran spent around $35 million to launch the attack, but Israel and the U.S. had to spend an estimated $2.5 billion to stop it. Why? Because each arrow or David sling costs between two to $4 million per shot. And the cheaper Iron Dome can only intercept basic rockets, not advanced low-flying drones or maneuvering cruise missiles. There's a massive gap in Israel's defense, and that same gap exists in Russia and even in the United States. The world needs a cost-effective missile that can handle modern threats, maneuverable cruise missiles, low-flying drones, and even fighter jets. And here's the twist. India found the solution nearly two decades ago. It's called Akash. India does operate the powerful Russian S-400 system, arguably the spearhead of its air defense network. But there's a catch. Every S-400 missile costs around $2 million, and to guarantee a kill, the system fires two missiles per target. That's a $4 million price tag to take down a single incoming threat. Now compare that to India's homegrown Akash system. A single Akash unit costs about $500,000, which might sound expensive until you realize this. An American AIM 9X Sidewinder, a short-range air-to-air missile, costs just as much. But unlike the S-400, Akash only needs one missile per target. No doubling up, no overkill. In a recent military drill, a single Akash battery carrying just four missiles took down four separate targets, drones, cruise missiles, and simulated fighter jets, proving how deadly and efficient it is. With a 70 kilometers range, it even outperforms Israel's Iron Dome in key areas. But here's the real twist. Every time India fires an Akash instead of an S-400, they're effectively saving $3.5 million because they don't need to fire two missiles and because it's 100% made in India, meaning the money stays in the Indian economy. That's not just defense. That's smart strategy. And that's why countries are lining up to buy it. And with the recent clashes between India and Pakistan, the world saw firsthand how effectively the Akash system defended India's airspace with low cost and high efficiency. Akash's performance speaks for itself. But let's be honest, some people won't be happy seeing so many countries lining up to buy Indian weapons. You'll find a few of them in the comment section, so 
So show Caspian Insight some love down there. Your encouraging comments genuinely keep me motivated to keep going. And if you're feeling extra generous, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like, and share it with another kind-hearted soul so our little family can grow even bigger. Thank you for your support. This is Caspian Insight, signing off.